You can't transform yourself. You can't make yourself sane. You can't make yourself loving. You can't make yourself unselfish. And yet it's absolutely necessary that we be that way. It's absolutely necessary. If we are going to hand over the direction of nature to nature, which is what it comes to, it's absolutely necessary that we let go of ourselves and it can't be done. Not by anything that we call doing it, acting, willing, or even just accepting things. You can't do it. Why? Because you don't really exist as that kind of a separate ego or personality. It's just an idea based on a phony feeling. So when it comes down to it, it's shocking news for us, for the human race, for our pride. You're only making a mess by trying to put things straight. You're trying to straighten out a wiggly world and no wonder you're in trouble. So you can't do anything. So you can't transform yourself. And what can you do? What happens then if you actually realize you've come to a dead end? And the human race has come to a dead end, in my opinion. What then? Commit suicide? Or is there something else? What happens when you just wait? There's nothing you can do. You watch. And all you see is what goes on that is happening of itself. You're breathing, the wind is blowing, the trees are waving, your blood is circulating, your nerves are tingling. It's all going on with itself. But do you know that's you? That's the real you. The you that goes on of itself. It's not the symbol. It's not the person. It's you that's happening, as when you breathe. Yes, you can get the feeling that I am breathing by shoving your breath, but your breath goes on day in and day out without your doing anything about it or even thinking of it. The same way your brain is functioning without your forcing it. So when you come to a dead end, and we are individually and socially now, in 1970, one, at a dead end, this is the moment of which it is said man's extremity is God's opportunity. Because we have to stop. And when we stop, we find a world that is happening rather than being done, being shoved. And that happening, as distinct from doing, is our fundamental self. And our fundamental self is not something just inside the skin. It's everything around us with which we connect. 